I recently received my new set of rims from Tire Rack, and it was an exciting day. Partly because it was a little hard finding a set of rims that would fit the C450, was not out of this world expensive, and also looked good. Also important to me was the strength and lightness of these rims for performance reasons. Everything came packaged nicely and securely, so no worries about damage during shipment. This is the fourth time I have ordered rims, tires, or stainless brake lines from Tire Rack and I like using them as the whole process is seamless and you also get to visualize what the wheels look like on your car when using their site. If you are looking to get new rims and or tires for your car that are not the stock sizes, I will also show you another site that has the tools that can be used to calculate for offsets and more, so look for that later in the video. As with most of my videos, I want to share my experience and knowledge and so if you find these useful, please subscribe and share. It will definitely help my channel and it will allow me to get more unique and helpful videos out. These are the OZ Formula HLT rims inspired by design and technology from Formula 1. They are designed and manufactured in Italy and come in diameter sizes of 17, 18 and 19 inches. They are a 10 spoke design, one piece, manufactured with OZ's HLT technology, low pressure casting process and heat treatment. The result is a wheel that has comparable strength, weight and performance to that of a forged wheel, but at a more reasonable cost. BBS originally pioneered this flow forming process, but OZ has their version called HLT or High Light Technology. Enki also has this process they call MAT, and Raze has Raze Cast Flow Forming. Even HRE also offers flow formed wheels. These are also available in 4 bolt 8 spoke variants for those that need it, but I ordered the 5 bolt 10 spoke pattern. Mine are 18 inches in diameter and weigh in at 22 pounds each. This allowed me to reuse the stock Continental tires that came with my car. It's easy to order rims and or tires from Tire Rack as they make sure that it fits your car and also give you all that you need. For example, you get a set of new bolts or lug nuts that will fit your new rims and if needed, a set of four hub center ring inserts included with the purchase price. You also have options to get metal valve caps, but in my case, since my rims are black, I had the option of getting black valve sleeves and caps. This gives a more consistent look. And if your car needs TPMS sensors, then get those added to the order too. Even when ordering from Canada, shipping was fast, less than one week in my case and all customs fees, taxes and brokerage fees were collected by Tire Rack during ordering so that I don't have to deal with that when my order is delivered to me. This box here contains additional accessories for this rim. Inside you can find the OZ central lock cap that includes a black carbon fiber centerpiece which gives it a nice clean and sporty look. Also included is a tool to remove this cap without scratching the rim. Alternatively, you can choose not to use the central lock cap and use a traditional cap which is also provided. Make sure to order a set of wheel locks to protect your new investment as well. They aren't 100% theft proof, but help to make it more difficult for a thief to seal your rims. I have a video about wheel locks too, so check it out if you haven't already and if you need more info on it. These are from a company called TPI and look to be high quality. Additionally. I will be ordering a set of pattern style locking bolts as well to add more security by having two different types of locks. As for ensuring the new rims will fit your car, Tire Rack already did all the work for me. But if you need more information on the specifics or even how the rim may look on your car, there are some resources online that can help. These can be useful, for example, if you want to know if the new rim will stick out further from the fenders than your stock rims. Let me show you next. 1010tires.com has a bolt pattern guide that can provide additional information on the bolt hub specs for your car. This can be useful for ordering lock bolts for example. Enter the specifics of your car and now you have the specifics you need. If you're using this to buy lock bolts, make sure the length of the bolt you get are the right length required for the new rims and not the, the stock ones. Bolt length can also be measured using the new bolts that came with your new rims. Measure from the base of the bolt where it will contact the rim to the end of the bolt in millimeters. 
This is usually called the shank length. Next, if you need to know how much further your new rims will extend in or out, and how much more or less inner clearance you have, use the wheel offset calculator. Enter the width and offset of your original rims and enter the specs of new ones and hit calculate. You now have the inner clearance and outer position details calculated. And if you need new tires and want to get different sizes, use the tire size calculator tool to see if the new tires will affect your speedometer or not, and if so, whether it's faster or slower. After entering the specifics of my car, I can then select a tire size that I might be interested in, add a few if, I, if needed, and then uh, click compare. Now you can view all the important differences, especially the speed variance. If you don't want to worry about the nitty gritty details that I mentioned above and just want to keep things simple, just enter your car info into Tire Rack's site and it will return only the wheels and tires that will fit your car. Simple as that. And there you go, most of the tools you need to order a new set of shoes for your car. And to finish, take a look at Tire Rack's virtual image of my car with the OZ rims in comparison to an actual image. Close enough, right? Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Let's see what the new tires look like on the car.